I was in 2014. I was a level 10 back then. At the highest level in the USA Gymnastics Junior Olympics program. So I didn't know what was going on with me. I felt different. Competing at just 15 years old with college gymnastics on her mind. Yeah, I was going to have a quinceanera, but <laughs> I guess not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was sad about that because I really like big dresses and parties. That was sad. Marlene Cervantes was starting high school. It's really difficult watching her go through that because I know how much she wants it. Something's different in your cells or something's abnormal in your cells. They're like, we need you to come to Seattle Children's right now. Doctors diagnosed her with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, an adult-like case requiring chemotherapy, radiation, immunotherapy. So they had to treat it differently. And eventually a bone marrow transplant. I had like a really high fever and I don't really remember, like I don't remember anything. Mars, as her friends call her, went into remission but ended up in the ICU not long after. My kidneys really kind of stopped working, so I had to go through dialysis. And for me, that dialysis was like really bad. It was terrible. Like, here's this kid who went through all that she went through and is pulling through. Four to six hours of practice a day to nothing at all for two years. Yeah, like a lot of things that mattered to other people don't really matter to me. In 2019, she's back on the floor at Auburn Gymnastics in DuPont. I just remember it being so easy back then, and now it's like the hardest thing. She just competed at level seven state, placing first on bars. Which was like my goal. And third on beam. And she gave me the most inspirational award of Washington, and I just, just started crying because like my coaches were crying and Tina, the owner, was crying. Not once did she think her diagnosis could take her life. And like a gymnast who risks injury every day. I have to do gymnastics. Everything is perspective. And just like be kind and love everyone and be happy that they're there with you. There's some inspiration for you, right? Marlene, uh, well, she told us she hopes to practice gymnastics another year or so. She has some recent bouts with pneumonia, but she's still fighting strong. She also wants to go to UW.